Um, so this is a hopefully a quick explanation of how I made this um, whole in the cloud shader. Um, it's pretty cool because you can move this mask around and there are some controls to like make it disappear, like make it real big, or like change the hardness of it. Um, so it's like a solid wall of clouds um, or like a really soft thing. Um, so yeah, it's actually not terribly complicated to set up because um, it is based on one of the samples that's included in Unreal Engine. It's really cool because you get these like light shafts that come through too can't really see here but um, so first things first is we need to make sure we have the volumetrics plugin enabled so if you go to plugins you go to volumetrics and hit enable here it'll ask you to restart the editor and um, when you come back if we make sure we have show plugin content checked here we can come down and find this volumetrics content folder that was just added and there's some cool um, examples in here too. You open up the cloud compositing and maps. There's one where you can like paint clouds in the skies or move them around with blueprints. Um, but what we are interested in is these uh, materials that come included um, with this. And I think the one we want is, yeah, this one. It's M volumetric cloud to paint clouds morning. Um, and if we open this up, it's just because it has this purple box, which has like the lightning strikes built in. And I think those are super, super cool. Um, so what we can do is we can um, duplicate this and then uh, move the copy to our main content folder um, because we don't want to edit the files that are in the volumetrics folder. Um, we want to make a copy and uh, move it to our content. I've already done that, and that's this one right here. Um, and so this is the, the material that we're going to be working from. Um, if we just create a material instance, we get this, and then we assign this to our volumetric cloud material. And then this has some uh, properties that we want to control. Mainly it's the bias. And then we're going to add a few more. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so like this is what it looks like out of the box. These really overclassed clouds with like lightning strikes. And if we uh, just change the bias, we can change the cloud coverage, right? So now we need some of these clouds disappear and just have these big shapes left and then those can eventually disappear too. Um, but we want to control this bias based on a mask and we can do that very simply um, by taking the distance, the distance between the world position of the pixel of the clouds that we are rendering and the position of an imaginary sphere that we're going to use is like the location of where the mask starts. Um, so if we get take the distance between that, we get a radial gradient that starts at the center of sphere position and then gets darker as it gets farther away. Um, but since we don't want it to be a sphere, we want it to be a cylinder, so it shoots up all the way into the sky, we can just uh, multiply our world position and our sphere position by um, a like component mask. So it says we uh, want the value in R, we want the value in, or we want the value in X, we want the value in Y, but we don't want the value in Z. So we just zero that out. So no matter where they are in the Z position, these two uh, vectors are always going to have a value of zero. And that, that makes it so it turns the sphere into a top-down projection, and uh, it's like a cylinder mask. And then if we take this gradient and we add to it a sphere radius, we can shrink or grow the um, sphere mask. 
and then we can multiply it to sharpen the edges to make it softer or harder. Um, we are dividing the world position by a value of 1 million here, just because this is a huge value and we want to work with like reasonable values here. Um, so we just divide this by 1 million, just to kind of like bring it down into range. And then finally we saturate it, and uh, we then just multiply it from the output of uh, the cloud map, which we're getting right here, and then we just plug it into wherever this is going. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. So if we come for a material instance now, we still have our bias, which controls like the main cloud cover. Um, and if we set this down to have complete coverage, and then we scroll down and find our sphere hardness and sphere radius. And then we also have our sphere position um, that we can <coughs> that we can move around and um, hardness, yeah, makes it sharper and sphere radius makes it bigger and smaller. Yeah. Ta-da! That's all there is to it.